Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this top 10 countdown, we're going to talk about the top 10 keyboard shortcuts for After Effects. And these shortcuts should save you time and this list is not put together in any particular order. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and let's start this countdown. To start off our list, we have the transform parameters that you see right here. So let's say uh, you want to bring up the scale, you'll hit S on your keyboard. If you want to bring up position, you'll hit P on your keyboard. If you want to bring up the rotation, you hit R. If you want to bring up the opacity, you hit T. And if you want to bring up the anchor point, you hit A. Now, if you want uh, to bring up uh, multiple parameters at the same time, you can hold down shift and hit that uh, shortcut for rotation, which is R. Shift for uh, shift S for scale. So now we have multiple uh, parameters open at the same time. Number nine on our list is the pre-compose button. So basically, if you want to group all these layers together, uh, you select all your layers and on a Mac, you would hit command shift C or on a PC control shift C to basically compose all these layers together and make them into one comp. So that's that one. At number eight is our layer shortcuts. So if you want to create a new solid, you would hit Command Y on a Mac or Control Y on a PC to create a new solid. If you want to create a new adjustment layer, you would hit Control Alt Y on a Mac or Control Alt Y on a PC to create a new adjustment layer. To create a new null object, you would hit Command Alt Shift and Y on a Mac or Control Shift Alt Y on a PC. And basically for the camera, command alt shift C for a new camera. And for a new light, it's basically command shift alt L on uh, for a new light. And of course on a PC, that would be control to swap out command for control. So uh, that's how you can quickly create all these uh, layers with those shortcuts. So at number seven, we have several tools at the top here that are very important to know the shortcuts of. So if you want to say, zoom in here and you want to be able to move around your comp what you can do is hit spacebar on your keyboard and you can use the hand tool to quickly kind of move around your comp area which is the hand tool and the other one is the pen tool and if you wanted to mask something um, you can select that layer and you can hit G on your keyboard to bring up the pen tool and you can go ahead and create a mask um, and if you want to go back to your selection tool which is basically your tool that will select you know pretty much all your layers uh, you would just hit V on your keyboard to go back to the selection tool. And the last one you should probably know is the text title tool, which is Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC, and you can type uh, your text, and there, there's the shortcut. So uh, for number six is the composition settings. If you want to change the size of your project, you can hit Command K on a Mac or Control K on a PC, and you can easily change the width and height of your composition and time and frame rate. So for number five, we're going to talk about duplicating some layers. So if you want to duplicate a layer, all you have to do is hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC to duplicate a layer. And as you can see, we can move our new duplicated layer uh, around our project. And then if we also, if we hold down Command Shift D on a Mac or Control Shift D on a PC, we can split the layer and you know we can delete the previous layer and quickly just cut the layer in half. So it's also good to know if you need to split a layer. So for number four, it is quickly to view the masking properties. So this is a mask, and if I hit M on my keyboard, we'll bring up our uh, mask, and basically we can change the path and the blend mode. But if we hit MM on our keyboard, we hit M twice, you will see all the mask properties, and it'll be you know it'd be very easy for us to adjust our mask and do what we need to do. So for number three, we have some keyboard controls. If you hit plus on your keyboard, you'll zoom into the timeline. And also, if you hit minus on the keyboard, you'll zoom out of the timeline, which is great for making small adjustments you know, at frame levels. And then also, if you want to export only specific areas of your comp or RAM preview it, what you can do is hit B on your keyboard, set your uh, endpoint for your work area, and you can go to another point in time and hit N on your keyboard to set the endpoint for your work area. So now only this area will be exported or RAM previewed. And at number two, which is one of my favorite shortcuts, is show all keyframes. So what we can do is make sure no layer is selected and we can hit U on our keyboard and it will reveal every keyframe that's in our composition here. And if we hit U twice, 
it will bring up every parameter and keyframe that has been affected in our entire composition, which can be great for you know finding out you know what layer has been affected, especially when you download uh, project files. It's great to see what the uh, creator has affected. So, fantastic for number two. And finally, for number one, and probably a shortcut that goes underneath the radar the most, is centering your anchor point in the middle of your layer. And you definitely need to do this probably when you create text because the anchor point is always in the bottom left here. So what you can do is you can go to the pan behind tool, which is right here at the top. And if you hold down command or control, depending on what platform you're using, and you double click it, it will automatically center your anchor point in the middle of your layer. So now we can finally scale or do whatever you want from the center of our layer. So that's it. So that concludes my list for the top keyboard shortcuts that I use on a daily basis. If you feel like I missed any shortcuts or shortcuts that need to be added to this list, please drop a comment down below and share the knowledge. And if you guys have any questions, please be sure to drop a comment or hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for tutorials and more videos like this for After Effects. And if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.